our topic for today will be looking at chemistry 15.2 the topic for today is chirality lesson 103 today we'll be looking at practice question let us start we know that whenever we talk about practice question lesson videos we are talking about those lessons whereby we consolidate or we master a certain topic by going through a number of questions or example or we can do as many questions as you can in order to make sure that we master a certain topic and to utilize this lesson you have to pause each and every question and work it out and play the video to verify the answer so should it happen that you've mastered almost or you've got almost all the questions correct then you can be i'm confident to say you have mastered this particular topic so it is very important for you to go through lesson 101 and lesson 102 those are the lesson series or the lesson videos whereby we explain that particular concept in detail before you can watch this lesson otherwise it will be very much difficult for you to get or to obtain um, the questions correct so make sure you watch 101 and 102 101 we've explained chiral or chiral center or chiral center carbon or a compound or a structure that has a chiral center we've explained that in detail and then lesson 102 we've related the chirality of um the 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 the, the structure with the enantiomer so the chirality to, the, to identify a chirality or to understand the chiral center of a carbon was an introduction of understanding enantiomer so it's very important for you to understand the chiral center before you can fully understand enantiomers so it's very important to go through those lessons and then in this lesson we are going to do the examples on how to identify a chiral compound and then we know that the opposite of chiral is a chiral if the compound doesn't have a chiral center then we can say it is a chiral so we'll be identifying those compounds with chiral center and also identify that chiral center so this is what we will be doing in this lesson so the question is identify the chiral centers in the following compounds so if it does not have a chiral center you'll have to state whether um, it is chiral or it is a chiral if it is chiral then you have to identify that chiral center so before we can okay let us simply write the first structure that we have Let's see we have br we have methyl here we have methyl here so the question is is this question is this compound having a chiral center if yes identify that chiral center just a quick review we know that whenever we talk about a chiral center we're talking about a compound having that carbon bonded to four different groups let's say we have this carbon it is bonded to a methyl to a methyl bonded to chlorine and then bonded to hydrogen and then we can say it is bonded to And hydroxy group so you can see that we have a different types of groups then we can say this one it is a chiral center and the chiral center it's actually this carbon we normally donate or designate with this symbol and then let's say we have another structure we can put the methyl back here we can put chlorine here then we put hydrogen and hydrogen since we have only three different groups these are the same once you have 
identical group or identical groups just know that it does not have a chiral center. This one is a chiral and then this one is chiral. That's how we actually identify this. So going back to our question, we need to identify that. Okay, looking at this carbon, since we have methyl and methyl, then we can see that we do not have a chiral center here. Looking at this one, we know very well that we have hydrogen here. So we can see that we have a methyl, we have a bromine, we have hydrogen, and then we have this part. This part is not the same as, it's not a methyl. In fact, we can say it's isopropyl, because you can see we have this. So since we have different four different groups, then we can go ahead and conclude that this is chiral, and the chiral center is actually here. This is our chiral center. Number two. Let's put hydroxy group here. Or actually here, let us, we have, let us just put a methyl. Or let me put an OH here, and then this a methyl. Okay, looking at this carbon, we have hydrogen, hydrogen identical, so it cannot be our chiral center. Oh, by the way, let us conclude that this it is chiral. And then looking at this carbon, we have ethyl. And then this side, we have, you can see this side is not the same as this one. So you can see it's a second group. That group, it's a methyl which is also different, and then we have hydrogen here. So we can see that our chiral center here is this one. So it is indeed a chiral structure. Let us look at this ones. Let us go to number three. Looking at this carbon here, since we have identical groups, cannot be our chiral center. Okay, looking at this one, we can clearly see that we have one, we have hydrogen here, which is two. Now, looking at this side, let us consider it like this. Looking at this side, comparing it with this side, you can see that they are not identical. So, you'll have to look at, you don't look at only this part here, no. You look at the entire the entire part up until we find a different part. Look at this segment. You can see that it is totally different from the, 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 the right segment. Therefore, this one it can be considered as our chiral center. So it does have a chiral center and it is located here. Looking at number four. Okay, let us go straight to the carbon that we think it might be possible to be our chiral center. Looking at this carbon here, we know that we have hydrogen. And then looking at, we can simply form a symmetrical line here. Looking at this part and this part, this side and this, this side, you can see that they're identical. Since they're identical, then we cannot see this is our chiral center. This is, in fact, a chiral. I hope you got this one correct. Let us continue. These are the next set of examples. Let us go ahead. Question number five. So, let us quickly go to the carbon that we think. Let me just rectify this quickly. We think it might possibly have a car or possibly be a carousel. So this carbon cannot be a carousel 
because you can see that it is not even bonded to four groups. We have hydrogen here, so we only have one, two, three groups, so it cannot be that. Also, this one here cannot be our chiral center. So let us look at this one. We do have hydrogen here, so we can see that we have one, two, this part it's not the same as this part, so it has four groups. And you should know that a structure or a compound can have more than one chiral center. Let us look at this one. We have hydrogen here. We have one, two, three, four. Four groups. So also this one can be considered as our chiral center. This is why you have an IUPAC name that has um, 2R, 3S, 2R, 3S, 4R, 4S, but we do have a lesson video based on that. We are going to talk about it. So this one, it is chiral. Number six. Looking at this carbon, we don't have any hydrogen. So it is um, fully bonded. It is bonded four times. Also this one and also this one or what we can see about this hydrogen it is only having three groups remember that we need four groups this one it is bonded it only has three groups also also this one and also this one this one it is identical we can go ahead and write this in detail we have three hydrogens. So you can see we have three identical groups, even though it is bonded, it has four groups, but we have three of them which are identical. So this one is a chiral. We don't have any chiral center. Number seven. Okay, this one, it has only three groups, so we cannot talk about that one. Let us look at this one. We have one, two, three, four, or let us put it like this, four, because when looking at that particular carbon, we should be careful with this. Looking at this particular carbon, remember that carbon, it is tetravalent, it bonds four times. So we have this bond here, we have this bond here, we have this bond here, we have this bond here. So you can see that we consider them as groups and they are not identical for different groups. So one of the stereo centers, I mean chiral centers we have is this one. And then looking at also this one, we do have four different groups. So it is chiral. Looking at number eight, let us consider this as our last example, We're looking at the length of the lesson video. So let us identify the, whether it is chiral or achiral. If it is chiral, we identify the chiral centers. This one, we have hydrogen here, but looking at the groups, identical groups, it makes it not to be our chiral center. Looking at this one, we have hydrogen here. So you can see that this side, it's not the same as this side. So, and also this side is not the same as the other two. So we have one, two, three, four. So you can see that this will be considered as our chiral center. Let us check if we don't have any chiral center, another chiral center. So if you put hydrogen here, this side is not the same as this one. And this group, it's not the same as this group. So we have four different groups it makes it our second chiral center now let us look at this one we have hydrogen here so this side is not the same as this one and we only have this metal here and hydrogen so this will also be our chiral center so this one it is chiral now that's it for this lesson video. I hope it will be helpful and you will understand how to identify um, a chiral center. 
and to identify whether a structure it is chiral or it is achiral. This is Bahula SJ. Thank you very much.